Hello, today I'm opening up Azul. We all know about this game. Game designed by Michael Kiesling. Uh, Next Move Games. Um, it's been in and out of print, I guess, or the copies have sold, um, sold out several times. Um, let's see. It is ages 8 and up. Two to four players, 30, 45 minutes. Yeah, that sounds about right. Um, before we open it up, let's see which game is heavier. Azul or For the Crown, second edition. Hmm. I'd have to say Azul. Azul is a heavier game. Okay, so this one should have the uh, first player tile instead of token. So we'll see. Okay. Been waiting to get my hands on a copy of this game for a while. I've played it several times, but sold out. It's a great game. Nice. Pretty decent box. Rule book, nice and shiny. Single page folds out into six pages. All right, here are the little cups or placement things, uh, little coasters, basically. All right, here are one, two, three, four player boards. Now I've seen some where they're not really, okay, this one kind of bows a little bit. Um, I've seen some that have bowed quite a lot but anyways, here's your um, regular side, and here's your sort of make your own uh, side, your own pattern. So there's four of those. Nice bag. Ooh, I like this bag. Big. Check out this ribbon. Nice. All right. Your four scoring markers. All right, so here we actually have a f the first player or uh, yeah first player tile. Um, yeah, I mean it's not much to say. It's the same quality as as the rest of the tiles. Okay, so you've got blank uh, red tiles. Here are the yellow tiles. Set some out. Here are the teal ones. Okay. The black ones. And the blank blue ones. Okay. I kind of wish they were just slightly heavier in feel, but you know that's that's getting really too nitpicky. Um, the components are great. I mean, you just can't really say much more than that. Um, here is an insert. To me, it's a useless insert. I mean, you can fit probably another game, a small box game, in here. So I'll probably throw this away since I'm going to be keeping all the tiles in the bag anyway after finishing a game, but. Um, anyways, uh, it's there if if you'd like to use it. I'm sure this is where the coasters fit. Yep, there you go. Um, so that's what's inside the box. Hello. This evening we played Azul. Um, this was not my first time, but this was Alex's first time, and he won. Like many first-time uh, players, they they somehow crush it, <laughs> um, as opposed to uh, people who played a lot and only win a few times. <laughs> it's only because I didn't have any expectation. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, just go for the fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, uh, it looked like you were having fun scoring all those points. Uh, <laughs> well, um, so what do you think? Uh, I think it's, it's uh, like a good, like really visual, attractive game in general, right? Mm -hmm. It's like 
have these little tiles, um, this uh, a lot of like uh, components that make it uh, entertaining, right? Because you are moving the, the little tiles and they mm -hmm. make sounds, and then you put all these things um, based on the mechanics or based on like the way of scoring points or winning. Um, it make it. Uh, uh, I don't know. It is. It is kind of like thinking. The way the way I, I, I thought to be sincere is like I'm going for the tiles for the time tile that no one likes. Mm -hmm. So I will start scoring the hard like the hard lane mm -hmm. with those ones that no one likes. So I will basically just make them use your game yeah. and I will just keep like all the spar for, for myself. Mm -hmm. Um evidently there is like this this element in a certain way like you can um, keep things for, for in advance. And mm -hmm. scoring like slowly the, the easy points, right? Because mm -hmm. you will always find like one or two in, in, in one little square. Right. And you will and and of course like if you want to score for three in, in a moment you will you will try to get them immediately. Mm -hmm. But um but there's a moment like also like inside of the, the pool there is so many so you can complete a, a whole row. So you only wait for that moment, even if you pay one point less. It is um, better for mm -hmm. like it, it, it works right. It's like yeah. oh, I'm completing a whole row with just five tiles in a moment. I just mm -hmm. pay one point and that's it. Yeah, um, I like it and, and like it was entertaining. It was it was a little complicated at the beginning. Yeah. It was like okay. trying to get the mindset, but okay, it's just putting everything in in, in this. Mm -hmm. that's, those are the rule line. That's um, how we play. But my strategy for the longest has been trying to uh, fill up the center spot. Um, we played on the just the regular side where it's already the, the pattern's pre-made for you, but I like going for the center blue tile. I think it's blue. Um, mm. Let's see. Yep, yeah, center blue tile, and then building around that because um, I wasn't expecting somebody to rush um, the game. Um, I was Which really, I <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was expecting more of a, a a slow burn, and I saw it, you know, like before the last round. I was like, okay, he's about to end it, so I need to figure out a way to get a few points in the end. And it turned out to be like a five point difference, but um, between your score and mine. But still, like, I was expecting it actually to be a little bit longer, at least one more round. One more round. Um, yeah, because. <clears throat> um, if I don't know, I it's hard to I get maybe that's the I haven't really played it enough, but for people who rush to the end, mm -hmm. you know, like I don't know how to really prevent that, prevent that or, or like mitigate, like how do you get more points than the person that um, rushes? Um, so you know, you could think <laughs> about it as like okay, so you've got five rounds max if there's somebody. That's gonna most. rush. I guess your your next choice is how do you score those second and third tier um, tiles as quickly as possible. So that's that's really interesting. Like the way you, you did it. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. No. I, I. Yeah. But maybe I didn't know. Like oh, we need to stay longer. No. Mm -hmm. I was. I don't say okay. How if we win? It's like oh, just completing this row. Okay. Right. It's like I know. Like the first row, mm -hmm. like it will be completed easy because only one mm -hmm. tile at the time. Right. right. Um, and you want to kind of like make like score the rest of the other things. Mm -hmm. um, basically, when I saw like okay, they are not going for they're going for the blues and reds at the beginning, like for the center. Mm -hmm. Then I would just go for the blue, the yellow ones, and yeah. I would try to get all of them, like before like they start worrying about that, right? Mm -hmm. and, and actually, they like having all of one kind. They give you a lot of points. They give yeah. you ten points. So mm -hmm. that, I think like that's. Um, other way to to try to find right or right. get one or two of the same kind and mm -hmm. then you basically you have a lot of points at the end of the game yeah and let me stop this one right quick and that's really what i like about this game is like there's so many ways to you know so many paths anyway, to victory yeah. um it's it's not just about grabbing tiles and you know like trying to make something you got you got to be methodical about what your plan is and execute it and you know get a little bit lucky um yeah as far as mm. uh who's picking what but 
No, that's that's just part of yeah, the game. Yeah, I, I think like there was moment that I okay, I will go for this one, and I just hear him like, yeah. oh no, yeah, like, exactly. like, oh, no. <laughs> like I know I like okay, did I am I messing with yeah. like, someone's <laughs> game? I don't actually yeah. really know if I'm doing it. Yeah. But, and okay. it's got just the right amount of you know take that I guess I mean mm -hmm. it's not really take that it's because you're you're doing it for your oh yeah own benefit so it's not really points. a take that you know but just just the right amount of you know like uh, antagonism against you know, your <laughs> opponents yeah um, and that being said like there there are moments when you can really cripple a player you know by taking by not taking um four, like four tiles in the end you know and, mm -hmm. and leaving that to somebody who can't fill yeah. any of their spots and have to yeah. go negative that's also like yeah. one of, of the things that uh it's important you if you don't think if you don't see like uh uh okay they're accumulating like six or five like of this kind yeah you're gonna put them eventually in this in this area and they will score against you right um i tried i that might be probably one of the things that I, I i thought like i don't want to score negative points mm -hmm. at least not that much i will just try yeah. to keep it yeah i i tried not to with um i guess by not picking up the first player tile but i mean maybe that was not the best strategy um but i mean it it builds up one point at a time but yeah. still it's if you get you know uh, negative three points at the end of the game from just picking up that negative one point tile then in a 60 point game you know that's yeah. a tenth of it so or uh what is it uh five percent of it yeah yeah so it adds up i guess um but yeah uh do you do you like the game? I like the game. It? I recommend it, yeah. and I would like to play it more. Yeah. Like you know, like yeah. if you try different things, mm -hmm. and probably also like you know, have the rookie log, just try to be more mental. Right. Prepare my strategy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. So that's our well, his first playthrough of Zool. <laughs> we all enjoyed it.